Welcome to Lenfest Kids. Uh, I'm Rob King and this is my co-programmer Sullivan King Park. It is holiday season and that means it's time for a holiday movie. And since our focus at Lenfest Kids is on New York City this time around, uh, the film that we're recommending for you is Miracle on 34th Street, which is about a department store Santa at Macy's here in New York City at Herald Square. Uh, the film was first released in 1947, and exterior footage for that film was actually shot in location around the, uh, the Macy's here in New York. And that includes footage of the 1946 Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade. Uh, the film was subsequently remade in 1994 and you can see both of these films on HBO Max with a subscription or alternately they're also available on Amazon Prime. Do you remember seeing the uh, Macy's Santa years ago? You must have been like four or five. Yeah. That was a long line. You need to make a reservation online these days so just that's our, our advice if you uh, if you're planning on it do you also remember when you came down with uh, your sister Sam as, as well as me to make some Lenfest videos uh, for Lenfest kids videos last week yes of, I did of course you do because it was only a week ago uh, well let's see what we found out in the meantime happy holidays and best wishes to all of you for 2022, that's a lot of twos. Happy holidays! Yes! Yeah! yeah. <laughs> ha! Okay. So here we are at Macy's. Samantha? Yeah. Samantha's with us. The world's largest store. The uh, construction on this building was completed in 1902. It's actually not the world's largest store anymore, did you know that? That's a bit of a fib. The world's largest store is in uh, South Korea, in Busan. Uh, that's been since 2009. But this Macy's flagship store here is famous for its Thanksgiving Day parades, which started in 1924. Uh, it's famous for Santa Land. Have you been to Santa Land? Uh, yes, you have. I think you were just too young to remember. Uh, and. Uh, it's famous as well for its uh, for its pioneering window displays, which is a tradition that is still sustained uh, in the holiday windows that get unveiled after the Thanksgiving Day Parade, which was a few days ago. So, shall we go and have a look at the windows? Um, yes, maybe. Yes, maybe. Let's do it. Let's go. Okay, so here we are at the windows, and this is the story of Tiptoe, right? Uh-huh. Oh, right, here she is learning to fly. Oh, you know what? What's she studying there? Oh, how to fly still? Yeah, Okay. different angle on Macy's here and this is the sign that says the world's largest store and can you see Samantha that that's actually a separate building on the corner there right yeah. and that's an interesting story behind that now this corner was called uh, million dollar corner and what happened was that they were uh, 
planning to um, to construct the the new Macy's here uh, at the uh, at the beginning of the 20th century, and one of the rivals to Macy's uh, working for one of the rivals, a guy called Robert Smith, decided that that he just purchased that little bit in the corner of the lot in order to spoil Macy's plans of building like a, a department store that occupied the entire lot. And he bought that in 1902. But Macy's didn't mind. They just built their building all around it. Uh, so they, it's kind of got a, it misses the corner, but it builds around it anyway. Now, 10 years later in 1911, that little corner lot was sold for one million dollars and that's why that corner came to be known as a uh, million dollar corner and also sunglass hut well it's a sunglass hut now but it's still not part of macy's although uh macy's does have an agreement that allows it to advertise or to put its billboards up on the top there which is why we see the world's largest store up there still all right so i think we're walking down 34th Street, the 34th Street side of, um, of, uh, of Macy's. And I want to show you something that uh, not a lot of people know about this, uh, this place. Here we go. There's a plaque over here. Can we read it? Here. Blah, blah, blah. Yes. On this site in Costa and Biles, uh, musical Thomas Edison, with his vitoscope, first projected a moving picture. In commemoration of the event, this tablet is here affixed by the motion picture industry, October 4th, 1938. So, important information here. This was not the first, uh, the first large screen projection, commercial large screen projection of motion pictures ever. That had been a few months earlier uh, in France. But it is the first commercial exhibition of projected motion pictures happened in the place on which the, uh, the Macy's building was, uh, was eventually built. So in a certain sense, this is where, s this is one of the kind of origin places for, for, for cinema in, uh, in the United States. Did you know that? Take a while I'm gonna guess no. Okay, okay, well that's the end of our trip to Macy's. I uh, just wanna, we just wanna spend a, a second here to wish all of you a happy holidays and best wishes for the new year. Uh, so, happy holidays.